Alright, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be bringing you guys a review video on the DJI Osmos, or Osmo. Oh I'm going to be bringing you guys a review video on the DJI Osmo action camera. It's right upstairs, just came in the mail, let's go check it out. Yeah, I totally kind of opened the box, I didn't really want to wait for this video, but here it is. The DJI Osmo action camera, it's supposed to be GoPro's biggest competitor as of right now. Chest mount over here, we got the bag, the case and everything, and just a bunch of other stuff to go with the camera that came along. Oh no! There we go. I think I almost broke something already. I really didn't, I didn't mean to do that. All right, we're gonna see if this is good enough lighting. Eh, it's all right, okay. Should I turn on that light over there? Hold on a second. I have really no clue if that's actually gonna make a difference or not, but we're gonna just go with it. This is actually the main event. I don't, I need a knife now, what the hell, hold on. Yeah, just like that, I got a knife. This is all the other stuff that I'm gonna save for later because who cares about what came with it? You guys wanna see the action camera. Trying my best to cut this very precisely so that I don't ruin the packaging because DJI is pretty good at the packaging and it's pretty, it's a work of art that you do not want to mess up. Okay, I'm being so stupid right now, I just gotta open it. I'm assuming you just, nope, okay, hold on. When you're 20 years old and you don't know how to open up a package. Oh, it's this little tab that I have to open. Okay, that's just one side, there we go. Oh, and there it is, okay, it's just right there whenever you first open it. I will say that it's a little dusty inside, that's kind of weird, but obviously it has the screen protector on it. This is a nice feel, this is a good camera, I can tell already. And by the way, I'm not being paid to say any of what I'm being said, or what I'm saying, if that made sense, okay. You can trust me in my own opinion. If I think it's a good camera, I'm gonna say it's a good camera. If there's flaws that need to be talked talked about then I'm gonna talk about it oh my god it's getting hot what's the temperature 71 degrees and I'm wearing a sweatshirt right now that's not good that's not a good idea so here we go we got all the other stuff that comes with this box I think these are just okay yeah these are all just like the mounts and all that sorry the lighting is pretty bad but this is the battery pack that the DJI Osmo action camera comes with by the way this all like together costed me about 400 bucks it's like the starting kit it's not just the camera itself obviously it's not the camera itself you see all this other stuff so this is a chest mount for if you want to wear it during skiing or you know maybe an adventure video if you're visiting an insane asylum i'm excited to use this a chest mount i've never used one before so let alone a gopro or any action camera so i'm very excited for it brand new technology man you gotta love it oh it's in its case i didn't even notice it it's in its case already wait so how do i take this off okay go down like that i don't want to break this please okay that's that's how you do it. I was trying my best to be as careful as possible because it's a new camera. I don't want to break anything. Here we go. Take that off right there. And this is the back side here, the uh, viewfinder that you'll be looking at all your footage through or any pictures that you want to take. That's off now. And look how much cleaner this looks. So by the way, this right here, it's a lens protector. You easily take it off or maybe not easily. Hold on. Now I'm actually going to put the, uh, the battery in right now just to see how this all kind of works out and sets up. So right there it would be an orange dot, but it's not there anymore because this is actually in. If, if you still see an orange dot, that means the battery is not fully in. And I would take caution to that. Make sure you, you know, are paying attention to what's fully in and the, you know, whatever. Because you don't want to put a new battery in and then go hop in the pool, get some footage, and then come back out and have it totally ruined because you didn't, you know, it wasn't secure enough. Legitimate, like, con like contender to the GoPro Hero 7. This is a very good build. The plastic on this is very good. It's not cheap plastic. It is very, you know, textury. It has good grip so that way it doesn't slip out of your hands as easily as a GoPro might. There it is guys, that is the camera, that is the viewfinder right there, this is the touch screen, and this right here is very good for vlogging, it's a very good point and shoot camera for vlogging, and it's very, very, like, I don't know, portable. Simply switch it around like that, and then it should switch when you double tap like this, and boom, there we go, we're back to the angle. Wow, testing, testing, I don't know how good this is gonna look, but this is the first look. The GoPro, or oh my god, not even a GoPro, Osmo Action. I don't know how this sounds or not, but we're gonna see. Stop recording. Alright, here's some underwater footage. I didn't get a lot because I was just kind of experimenting and getting a feel for how it really kind of worked underwater. Obviously, you just simply hit record. Um, it does not pick up audio very great. It does pick up audio though, just in general. Um, you can see just like the slow motion here that I have, like all the textures, the amount of just the quality of this camera is actually insane in slow motion. You can literally see everything. It's just so nice. Like you see it for yourself right here and it's just really nice quality overall. You know, that's just my opinion. The colors look amazing. 
amazing if you do need to saturate them a little bit you can do that in post-production obviously while editing and i think you know it's pretty good right here all right what's up guys it is currently present day the day i'm uploading this video sorry for the lighting once again it's really hard to get good lighting in this kind of room because if i turn on the overhead light it's just gonna be too warm and i don't want that so we're just gonna have to live with this for now so after using this camera for a couple days in a row now i have lots of you know good to say about it and a couple bad things to say about it there's one thing i'm like why what the what first of all camera quality is amazing you guys saw it and i absolutely love it it's probably the best quality camera i own it's maybe even better than this one some of the lenses that i use i don't know shoot slow motion beautifully um i have yet to do a time lapse on it it's actually you know able to do that i'd like to get a time lapse of like the sunset or something like that maybe get up early in the morning if that ever happens build of the camera is absolutely amazing it feels really good in your hands the only thing is whenever you're recording it can be a little shaky so i do recommend you know if you're actually just vlogging just in general with this camera it's just the camera you're bringing to like a football game you know maybe something small you're bringing into a store you don't want to bring this huge you know rig and like the huge dslr mirrorless camera whatever this is a good option but you just have to uh you know take notice that it will be a little bit shaky within the frame but there is a mode called rock steady so that will help you know you know smooth out the frames and make it a little bit more smooth no need for any warp stabilizer in post production has rock steady built in does take a little bit of the battery out as you use it more i like the fact that there is a selfie screen right there so whenever i am vlogging i can just you know turn it on and see myself in the frame and you know just get a feel for what it's going to look like and you know in the camera here i don't want to be using a gopro to vlog to guess where i am in the frame because there's no actual selfie screen whatever you want to call a viewfinder in the front of the camera and that's pretty much everything good about it you know amazing quality completely waterproof and it's just amazing. Here is really the only thing I have no clue why they did this. I showed you guys that chest mount for the camera, okay? The chest mount doesn't even fit. Like the rig that came with the camera it doesn't even fit. It doesn't it doesn't work. It only goes like, you know, it's supposed to be flat up against the chest mount, but it's just at this little angle because it doesn't it doesn't go flat. It's just at an angle. It's so hard to explain. I'm going to I want to mention that I'm going to show you guys in my next video because I'm actually having something delivered today. I had to buy a new part just to get this to work. I was looking around for the pieces just to make sure I was actually doing it right and I'm pretty sure I was. I didn't see any of the pieces to make this problem go away and just, it just wouldn't stay flat against the chest mount. Like it would look down at my knees instead of looking up, which is what it's supposed to do, and it, it didn't. I was like, DJI, are you actually serious? Like, what? But that is pretty much it. That is everything I have to say about this camera so far. I've only used it for a couple days. I will be making an insane asylum video, like, you know, visiting an abandoned one with my work friends, and uh, I'm gonna make it as soon as I get this new chest mount, and as soon as I come back from my vacation that I'm going on this weekend, it's like small little vacation to our lake, I'll be bringing the GoPro there too. I keep saying GoPro is so disrespectful, oh my goodness. Osmo Action, that's what it's called, okay? Not, not a, this is not a GoPro, it's, in my opinion, it's better than a GoPro. Alright, that is gonna wrap it up for today's video, guys, so hopefully you guys did enjoy. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you are new, turn on post notifications to stay in the loop with all my videos. Greatly appreciated, thank you very much. We're almost to 1K, I think we're at like 940 or something like that. The grind for phase is never gonna stop, you know? I'm always here, I'm gonna be here until phases. That's it, leave a like, I'm out. Have a good day, no one will be watching this, I gotta stop. Goodbye.